and we're trash talking talking a little trash yeah so anyway i don't think we've done a trash talking in a while so i hope you join me grab a glass of wine or some favorite beverage let's sit down and talk about some of the trash i have to go through and yeah so i'm looking forward to talking trash Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys do some trash talking with me. So anyway, it's gonna, I'm kind of pre-post, pre-videoing some, some of these things. So this will probably show up on a Wine Wednesday. So happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy hump day. So in the spirit of Wine Wednesday, I am having some of my Purple Toad Winery. This is one I bought a while ago and I haven't had it yet. And because I am pre-recording, the sale is already going to be over by the time this one posts. But they are having a 20% off sale through July 4th. So I wanted to try to taste this one, see if it's something I would be interested in purchasing again while it's on sale. So I grabbed this one. Because I know I have some of my favorites. Of course, this has been out of the refrigerator for a little bit and getting a little slippery here. So, anyway, Purple Toad. It's one of my favorite wineries for our sweet wines. This one is actually called Shadow. And it's rated two on the, I'm going to say fitness scale again, but it's sweetness scale from Patuka, Kentucky. And this one is Merlot and Blackberry wine. So, no idea what it's going to taste like but i am looking forward to tasting that and then doing a little trash talking yeah so anyway i've got it in my nancy's wine diary glass this is a nice deep deep purple it smells heavenly it smells light though it smells light i think i smell more blackberry than anything else but just very light so cheers everyone happy wednesday It's tarter than you would think. Maybe blackberries are tart, but but it's not bad. Uh, you get the dryness, the fullness from the Merlot, but then you get a little bit of that sweetness, that tartness from the blackberry. I um, think it's going to be a good sipping wine. I'll make a decision later if it's something I want to buy again, especially if it's on sale and I like it. Alrighty. So, cherry's still love on that one. I'm going to have to taste that a little bit more. So we might as well start with some mask. So anyway, I hope everyone is having fun. I have been having a blast doing sheet mask. Um, usually it's been like every other day and doing some clay mask in between and some mud mask and peel off mask and just I got that magnetic one having a blast doing stuff every other day. But these are just some of the mask that I used and um, I can't say any one of these is any better than the other ones a lot of these are from face story some of them are like from um, Ipsy and things like that um, they just all, all feel really moisturizing some have better scents some of the masks seem to dry out a little bit sooner especially like the ones uh, right right here even though I'm not uh, doing video and talking this is where they just don't seem to want to go like that but anyway I am just enjoying trying to get my complexion back in shape and I have got so much Scentsy that I haven't been going through so I just grabbed a handful to go through in case anyone's wondering if I'm still using Scentsy. Yeah, I am. I haven't bought any in a while just because I've been trying to go through what I have and it's embarrassing to see what I have and I go through a lot. But anyway, use some of this. Uh, this one is the hand soap. This one is Lucky in Love. So this one was really nice and fruity with peaches, berries, and just all kinds of mandarin and just um, very flowery, very fruity, really nice scent. I love the hand soaps because it's got aloe and vitamin E in it. And so you hear and just, just feel moisturized at the same time that you're washing them. This one was around Christmas time and I used this cranberry and tinsel. And that one just was a really, really nice Christmas scent. And while well, we're on Scentsy, this one 
I love this was one of the baked brick ones this one was cinnamon chai latte and you can see this would have been the size of the normal one so this is huge but love this if you love I don't always like like chai teas and things like that but I love the scent so this one there's another chai chai uh, bar that I really love but this one was a little bit more cinnamon a little bit more lighter but just really really nice it's really nice for the fall this one was also from the fall this was bright cider life and so this one was like apples and cider and sandalwood and like cedar just really really nice fall scent uh, this was whipped vanilla pear so just really light vanilla and pear and sweet. This one I'm actually using as we speak in the uh, great room, Bonfire Beach. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like being out at the beach and it just always reminds me of going to the Jer Jersey Shore to visit my brother and, um, and his wife and we would stay at his um, in-laws place and they were right on the beach, right on the beach. And we would go and we would want to stay, you know, they had like triple decker place and they had lofts upstairs for the kids to sleep. And we always wanted to sleep out on the deck and just that ocean air all night long. Really, really nice. Love Bonfire Beach. That one always reminds me of my brother. I'm going to do all these scents, but this one was uh, one of the Star Wars one. Um, the Dark Side, I guess it was called. This was another Christmassy one. Cranberry Garland, Red Berry and Spruce. Love this one of a Christmas. And I think that's all the scents I brought out. But I have got a ton more in the other room. I do. And I finished another laundry liquid. This one was Amazon Rain. Love that. It's like a spa, like Amazon, like a coconut. And I forgot what else. And it's just really, really nice. Love that. All right. I think that's it for Scentsy. Alrighty, so um, what really got me going on skincare before I started getting into Ipsy and BoxyCharm was Lancer. And I saw this on QVC and it was Candice Cameron Puree that's like one of the spokespersons for that. And her skin and just looks amazing. And she's so anyway, I decided to give this a try. I've been getting it on auto delivery. My auto delivery hasn't shipped in a while because they stored this in their North Carolina warehouse that had a massive, massive fire and they are having trouble getting inventory back. So this was like the exfoliating one. It's uh, called the polish, so you would use this. And when I first got it, I used it every night for like a month. And that really made a difference. And then this cleanser, which is really nice and moisturizing. Now I only use this like maybe once or twice a week. And once I got my skin kind of like where I wanted it to be with everything else that I'm getting from Ipsy and masking and things like that, it's so much better. But I cannot wait to get my next shipment of these. The cleanser, it's just so so moisturizing love it and again i use these in the shower so i just i don't use them as much as i used to do because i've been using the other cleanses and things that i get from ipsy but i love this it also comes with a moisturizer that i love Alrighty. so next uh shaving cream so i've I never know what I do with my caps. This is probably, it probably took me over a year to, to use this because my hair just, it, it's not growing like it used to. So I don't use this much. But anyway, it just kind of, it's kind of like, just kind of makes your skin feel kind of nice and moisturized. Um, dry shampoo, you know, I never liked dry shampoo because back in the 70s or, yeah, 70s, I guess we used all that, that pssst. And it just always left a film in your hair. We'd use it like after gym class so that we didn't have to wash our hair and then go to classes with wet hair. So we would use that, but it, it was just, yeah, I, I didn't like it. So anytime I got these, I didn't use them. I would give them away. But then so many people were raving about it. I decided to give them a try. So this one was a volumizing dry shampoo. I don't really know if it really gave me any volumizing. I don't really, it just kind of made my hair feel fresher like on the days that I tried to go in between washing. So it just kind of made my hair feel fresher and smell but nice. Alrighty, and this one I showed you um, not too long ago with this primer that used to scare the crap out of me. This Icy Sherbet Primer and I did get a replacement and it's it's 
kind of like a thick, like a gel almost. Maybe it's silicone or something, but it really gives a nice, uh, it covers everything. It goes into your scars, it covers your pores, some fine lines and wrinkles. So when you put your foundation on or just powder, if you don't use foundation, it just gives a nice smooth finish. So anyway, this is from Touch and Soul. So anyway, I already used in my back about that. When I got that Fenty uh, box from Ipsy, it came with this primer that I was using. Now it looks like there's a lot left in here that you can see. And I, I mean, you can, you can push that button all day long and nothing's coming out. I cannot figure out how to get this off to try to scoop it out. Um, if it came up in one of the sales, I would probably not buy it again, only because I can see there's a lot in here that I can't get out. Can't really say it made any difference. I like the other one that's a little bit thicker. This one gave a little bit of like a peachy toned color to your skin. If it came in a box, I would use it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. And again, this one was uh, Fendi from Fendi Pro Filter. Alrighty. So I used up, and it takes a long time to go through eye creams, but I used this uh, Versa one. I think I got this one in probably a glossy box or look fantastic. It took a while to go through. Like I say, I really can't tell if it really makes a difference. I know I don't want to go without using eye cream again. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it, but if it came in a box, I would be happy to use it. Alrighty, and this was like a night kind of moisturizer from the 111 Skin. And I think this might have come in just a regular glam bag. And it probably would have been one that I picked out. So Nocturnal Eclipse Nocturnal Cream. Um, I use this, like I said, I really don't know if it's really making a difference or a combination. Um, I wouldn't buy it. But if it came up in one of the Ipsy bags again, or BoxyCharm, or in the add-on sales, and it was a great price, I would buy it. Would I ever pay full price? Yeah. Yeah. No. Alrighty. So, speaking of Ipsy, um, this was in one of their add-ons, so I thought I would give it a try. It was this Lavender Breezy Deodorant. And um, I've only used it, Focus Please, a few times. And as far as... Um, if you feel like when you get hot sometimes and you start to sweat and you kind of ooh, kind of smells bad, you don't smell. But I feel like because it's deodorant, it's not an antiperspirant. So I felt like if I raised my arms up or something, I would have wet spots on, on my shirt or my blouse or something like that. So I wouldn't buy it again. I wouldn't put it in the add-on even if it was only a dollar. I think it's a good deodorant, but not an antiperspirant. And if you need something like that, no. I did finish up one of my secrets. I am a secret girl. And this is, of course, it's an antiperspirant. Um, it's the clear gel, so you don't get marks on your black tops, um, your sleeveless things. Um, it's just always worked for me. And yeah, I've used that ever since I was a teenager. And my mom said, uh, Nancy, come into the bathroom with me. You smell, you need to start using deodorant. Yeah, you remember things like that, those heart to heart talks, don't you? Alrighty, so I been like masking like crazy you know that but I've been using different eye masks so I decided that I was just going to keep using this until it was done I love this it's, it was gen skin and I probably got this in ipsy so there was like 30 pairs in here and um, it probably took me a couple of months because I wasn't using them all the time I was going back and forth and using other ones so I've yeah I'm not sure how old this is maybe six months and it was still nice and moist down to the last one and yeah, so I think I've got one I, I haven't opened yet, but I would definitely get these again. They are well worth it. And because there's 30 in there, you just feel like you're not wasting it if you wanted to use it all the time. Crest toothpaste. Yeah, I usually just kind of buy whatever floats my boat or what's I put in my box first. Um, use this hairspray. And the only thing I really use hairspray on is to try to keep the bangs out of my face. Love the scent of this one. I have no idea what my cap is. So it's Aussie Sun Touched Spray. Anyway, love the scent on this. Does it really hold my bangs in place? No, but I love the scent. And I think this is going to be one of my last empties. 
I still got more stuff, but I'm just trying to keep it short. So this I got from, I think, Raina. Uh, my, I think the first Christmas I went back home after Rick. So it's maybe four years ago, five years ago. And uh, yeah, so Raina and Jeremy and the boys had given me this Vince Camuto perfume. And I went, went uh, I've just been trying to use this every day until I finally used it up. So I'm not really sure how much it cost. I just like the scent. I just love the mist because you can just feel like you can just go crazy with it and it's not going to be overbearing or anything like that. Alrighty, so now it's just some of the fun empties before I run out of time. So a couple of days ago, I wanted, was in the mood just to kind of make a quick spaghetti sauce. So you're going to make a big pot, put some in a Ziploc bag, freeze them, and well, actually I put them in a little bag so I didn't have so much at once. And uh, yeah. So I was going to have a little bit of wine with it. So I had this from the Drink Easy. Drink Easy. That was flights that I got. So this one was Barbera 2018. So I used this in the sauce. And then while it was cooking, I had a little couple of sips. And it was like, I don't know if I like this. But I didn't, and I'm not really good at throwing things out even though I did that deodorant. So I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll have it with dinner later. And when I had a, a glass with the spaghetti, when it was done, it was much better than drinking on its own. So if I ever get another flight box from Drink Easy, I wouldn't mind getting this again. And again, because it's just a cute little bottle, there's not much in there, so it goes pretty fast. And I don't think you saw me have this one. So this was from Vino. So this was a Riesling New Crush. And I did like that. It's a nice, light, and fruity, semi-sweet. You saw me do this during my peach battle of the peaches. So I finished that, the uh, Paducah peach. And I did buy another one. But if I do end up buying some more for the 4th of July, before that 20% is over, I would probably buy one or two for backup. Captain Morgan's, I love Captain Morgan's. This is dry. Yeah, that took, that took a while. That took a while to go through. Alrighty, and then, I bought this on a whim, because I just didn't know what it was gonna be like. It was Captain Morgan's. It was the orange vanilla twist. And I didn't really like it in like my cream soda or Diet Coke, but it was okay like an orange juice. Like if I wanted just a quick glass or something for like a brunch, brunch. So and there's a little bit in there. So mm. not sure how old this is. It smells like an orange rind. It's tart. It is bitter, bitter and sweet like orange. I probably would not buy it again unless I knew of a special drink to mix it, mix it with. I'm not exactly sure why I bought it, but I did. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for this bunch of empties. Like I said, I have still got stuff over here for empties to go through. I got stuff in the kitchen, like a lot of sensey things to go through. But I just wanted to try to do a little at a time. And I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. Um, if you had a glass of wine or a beverage, let me know what you had to drink while you watched. If you've used any of these products, let me know what you think. And I hope you go out and have a great rest of the week. And we will do some trash talking later. Love you guys so much. Take care. Stay safe. Be kind. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys. Bye-bye.